What's up guys, this is Puerto Rican Boy, and this is part 14 of Ratchet & Clank Going Commando. Nice finish on that chrome. Uh, you buffed this out yourself? I handle my own buffing, sir. Oh, sorry, little man. I thought you was a crankshaft. <laughs> Can't see my own hand in front of my face without these. <laughs> no problem. So, how do I enter the big race? Well, you got the helmet, you're in. Easy peasy. The prize this time is some kind of special boots. I could use those myself. They go real nice with my leather chaps. Yep, we have a second racing challenge. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I restart the race so that I can get that boost, but I don't get it. And yet I still and I didn't restart the race, so I guess I restarted the first race in vain. What a waste. Could have made something fine out of that with the first race. Okay, I'm just rambling. Um some differences with this track is that well you start off with weapons from the get-go. There are a few more traps here, for example those mines, and of course the layout kind of changed. Um, really navigating here not that difficult, although I will have to say, not that many shortcuts you can take, like, compared to the last track we had to go to. But I don't mind this one, well, one thing that will, might throw you off are these doors. Look at that, that was... That was so close. And you're gonna get a lot of close calls like that. It's hard to tell sometimes which doors move. How the hell did I die there? I would like an explanation to that. Like seriously. I I'm trying to figure out how I died. Well, that's crap programming for you. As if the race wasn't hard enough. You also have crap programming back it up this is here's the thing you know Jack and Daxter races they're five laps long hard to die in them unless you're trying to take the shortcuts and you know and the opponents are as stupid as can be Ratchet and Clank going commando not only can at a certain race can they shoot at you there's so many traps placed and when you die you're, you're gonna end up behind to the point where you might as well quit the race and fail it. And, you know, it's definitely difficult. Unlike Jack and Baxter, I don't get why people complained about the racing in Jack 2 compared to going commando. I'm guessing it's because in Jack 2 it was mandatory, but still. I still find the racing in Ratchet and Clank going commando to be a bit more difficult, which is why I never go for all bolts. There better not be a skill point for that, or else I'm gonna cry. And I, I was just wasting ammo. Because I won the race. Yeah. Dang, I wanted these boots myself. But they'll look real nice with your outfit. You can race again, you know. Now the prize is a bunch of bolts. So finally we're racing for bolts, but if you ask me, I'm not sure if it's really worth it. I mean, 4,000 bolts, you know, I believe like in the beginning of the planet, uh, what planet was that? The one we were in before, the one, the Megacorp facility thing, the testing facility level, Planet Dobo. Yeah, I believe like the crates that you break in the, as soon as you get there, do kind of add up to over 4,000 bolts. So, and I'm doing a whole race for it. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth it that much. You have to do a lot of the higher races, like the ones where the people can actually shoot at you. And unless you're masochistic, I do not recommend that. Really, I would just take doing all the gladiator battles over it any day. 
So yeah, there are gladiator battles in this level. And I prefer that much, much more than racing. Now of course you got one, two, three sets of mines flying at you. Gee, you think that's enough game? Oh, this is great. Um, one of my headphones is starting to break. The left, the wire for the left headphone, like, you can see, like, the wires in it, in there. So it's starting to break off. But I can still hear audio from there, so... Everything's well and good for now. I just have to be careful when I'm using it. Just don't mind me, I'm just having a glass of water. Of course, I'll do the next race, which is 5,000 volts. Oh yeah, charge boots. They're really cool. Helps you navigate a lot faster. Very useful for the levels in which you're hunting for crystals. And we're gonna proceed to the actual level. Look at that, I got 1,000 volts from those crates alone. But I suppose every bolt does count, and I do mean it. Again, this is all so that I can do good for the last level. So, remember when I turned on that generator? Well, it opens a door that leads to the nice little power-up that gives you more nanotech. You know, you definitely want to have your health level up more. It helps. Um, those guys on the turrets, I believe they don't get damaged if you shoot them, but you do knock them off the turret. If only it worked that way in Jack 3, the mission in Haven Forest would have been a lot easier. Well, actually, oh wow, the door is shaking. Must be them pesky ghosts again. I'm sorry if, if, if for previous videos, if the volume has been a bit low in terms of the gameplay. Um, one thing about the PlayStation 2 when I record there, the games are a lot... Or the noise is very low. Which is surprising. Like, on the PS3, it's loud as shit, but on PlayStation 2, it's very low. I don't know why. Oh yeah, you can also hijack the turrets. And no matter what these enemies do, they can't harm you. Of course, in future installments, that won't necessarily be the case. Actually, in the mission in the first game, where you're in the where you're in a turret, you can get you can get damaged. So what what's going on here? And we have a nice little clever platforming section. So you're pretty much riding on this platform created using the dynamo. And you're just jumping on other platforms like this. Just to do what I'm doing. There's nothing to it really. It might try to trick you later on and I'll show you where 
Now those circle ones you can't jump on top of, hence why they are circle. Or I mean cylinders, that's the proper term. Now stay here. This is where the game tr kind of tries to trick you. But of course, if you're smart, you should be able to make it there just fine. And we're gonna go in guns blazing with the mini rocket too. Snipe those little turret noobs. Ah yes, lava gun is so great. Especially when it negates the... When it renders the blitz gun completely useless. It's those pesky... It's those pesky ghosts again. Oh yeah, by the way, um, for some reason I don't do it, but you can step on those switches and the doors will have more enemies come in. That one's empty. That one's not. Of course, you do need the XP, every single enemy counts. Oh yeah, don't spend, don't get a bit too spendy with your bolts, because there's gonna be a man later on at the end of the level, actually it's right now, it's coming up, he's going to charge you in an absurd amount of bolts, so get ready for that. You still going to the games? Yeah, what's it to ya? Whoa, take it easy, chief. I ain't looking for no trouble. Just an honest man looking to make an honest buck. I sincerely doubt that. Hey, I ain't the one trying to get into a sold-out arena. You're gonna need this levitator to get in there. 20,000 nice fucking bolts. Again. Time for me that is work. so expensive. Okay. Jerk. The instructions are in Blargian. Good for guy. a fucking gadget, so too. Here, tab A goes into slot B. Okay, and then magnetize the graviton matrix, remove your left arm, block, and done. You do have skills. Those damn you know ghosts it. gotta stop shaking my door or else I'm gonna kill them. Well, I go up to this tower and... Platinum Bolt! I believe that sound effect you use when you get Platinum Bolts is also used in Spyro. When the wizard, in Spyro 3, when you go to level, I don't know the level's name, but it's the one with the wizards. You'll know what I mean if you played it. Oh, that's the end of the part. Anyways, uh, let me make this quick. Um, the sound effects of the wizards using their magic, it sounds a lot like that sound effect for the platinum bolts. Yeah, completely useless trivia, but whatever, fuck you. This is Puerto Rican Boy, and I'm out.